Hiya. So, you want to land the traitor in a box. Let's call this guy down. And we'll try to see what happens. Oh, there he is over here. He's coming in for a landing. Oh no! What's he doing? Oh my god! Yeah, that doesn't work out so great. But there is a solution. I'll just cable this back up. And go inside and show you. Uh, we have a marker beacon down here. And it is set up to be 14 high. And we'll put the visualizer back on. So we can see that's about here, in the middle of the uh, the top of the box of the our former hangar. Now I'm going to put the landing pad back down. And we'll go back over here to the computer and reorder this guy to come down. Land. Now he's probably going to come from the... He's coming from the opposite side now. Jetpack on. But now, he goes to the middle and lands here. So it's it's actual, a true VTOL. Right, turn that off. Now we can go talk to him and tell him to get lost. And he will again go straight up and take off. Uh, the only problem is, is that this square is nine by nine. Now, none of the shuttles are nine by nine. I think the largest one is seven by seven, which is still a problem because it means uh, you can't completely close in the, um, the top of the square. So uh, the doors are only three by three, so three on each side, and then you'll have uh, six, six, six six and a space uh, right smack dab in the middle uh, now looking at the um, when I was looking at the past entries it, even though it, it needs a seven by seven it looks like there might be a little bit of space uh, but I don't know uh, the only other alternative is that after it lands you put a temporary frame in the center and then you'll you'll still have a, a VTOL uh, or you can just stick to the smaller uh, sizes. Uh, the 6x6 six six will still be able to land there. Anything that is not an airplane and is not really huge. Yep, that's how you solve that problem. Look, it was really fast and I babbled a little.